Porn is the enemy. Masturbation is not. Men have been masturbating for millennia. For probably hundreds of thousands of years, we've been masturbating. It's natural. You become horny, you want to discharge, you want to take your cum out, then you masturbate. But porn is very new. And porn is very harmful to masculinity. Now, let me tell you what porn actually does to your brain. The porn stimulus, the big tits, big ass, the having sex for hours, which is all fake, all of that is what is known as a supranormal stimulus. It is something that is above normal. When you see things that are not natural, like the big tits and big ass, and the different fetishes that you see in porn, your brain thinks of that as real. Now, the reason your brain thinks of it as real is because your brain doesn't really know the difference between a video image and a real 3D image that you see around you in life, like trees and, and your girlfriend and just you know a forest or a plant or a food, things that are natural. Your brain doesn't really know the difference. Now, the other interesting thing that we found out Again, by we, I mean neuroscientists, my colleagues, and other people in the world who study the brain. When we found out about mirror neurons, we had an earth shattering. This revolutionized neuroscience. Now, what are mirror neurons? So I'm going to tell you about mirror neurons, and I'm going to tell you how they relate to porn and why you're addicted to porn. Mirror neurons were discovered by this lab in Italy. And what happened is they were recording from a monkey. So, you know, monkey had an electrode in his brain. And that's what I used to do when I was doing my PhD. And the monkey was being given things by the lab assistant. For example, a banana to eat or an apple to eat or something to manipulate with his hands. They were studying the motor cortex of the brain where we study how things like our hands are moving, our feet are moving. This is what the motor cortex does. It gives instructions to our body parts to move. So as they were studying these areas of the motor cortex, they started having an area fire, not when the monkey was performing an action, but when the lab technician was performing an action. So instead of the monkey grabbing the banana or the monkey grabbing an object, these neurons started firing when the lab assistant grabbed the banana or grabbed the object. And the scientists were perplexed because they said, how can the motor cortex, the area of the brain which fires when the monkey moves, how can that move when a lab technician is moving? And that is how mirror neurons were discovered. These neurons fire in our brain when we see from our eyes other people doing an action and we know how to do that action we've seen that action before our body knows that action through evolution and we think we are doing it this is the secret to why a lot of us men are addicted to watching sports why fantasy football is so much of a billion dollar business and why sports teams and sports players make so much money because when you're watching Tom Brady or Michael Jordan on TV and Brady's throwing a touchdown pass or Jordan's hitting hitting that game winning shot or nowadays LeBron James and and others it's because your body your brain believes that it is you who's throwing that touchdown pass or throwing uh, or or scoring that game winning field goal or scoring that game winning shot in basketball or nowadays we have the world cup going on scoring that goal to win the game your brain thinks you're doing that now in porn when you're watching this guy just like going at it and fucking a girl for hours which is again fake you believe you're having sex with her Your brain, your body believes that you're the one having the sex. And the supranormal stimuli, which are the big tits, big ass, different types of fetishes, your brain thinks you are involved in that. Now, when you get to have sex with your girlfriend or with your wife or with some girl 
or some guy, if you're gay, for example, your brain thinks that that porn is real. The dopamine that is released in the reward centers of your brain or those centers of your brain that anticipate reward, you want that same dopamine rush, that same amount of dopamine, the receptors getting all that dopamine. You want that and you expect that. You're used to that. So now, when you see a normal person, a good-looking girl or a really hot girl, but not a photoshopped girl, like an Instagram, or a girl who had surgery done on, on her to get these big tits, your brain doesn't get the dopamine that it used to get during porn. Those receptors don't get the binding that they used to get when you were watching porn. So sometimes you don't ejaculate. A lot of my clients, especially this one guy who was complaining that he could never come with his girlfriend. So he would have to watch porn at the end of his session to actually ejaculate. And his girlfriend did not like that. No girlfriend or wife or any partner for that matter would like that you need to watch porn to get horny enough, to get turned on enough to actually ejaculate. Your woman will not like that. That is not what a real man needs. That is not what masculinity entails.